Hello and welcome to my channel. Hope you're all feeling strong and well. Hope you can hear me over the noise of this weir here. <laughs> In this vlog, we are going to be looking at an overgrown, forgotten mill pond. So the mill pond, which is down that way, I will be showing it you a little bit later on. All this area really is badly overgrown and derelict. And that's what I want to really show you in this vlog. Now, right behind me is the River Cone. The River Cone, of course, supplied the water to the mill pond and the mill pond supplied hydropower to the mills. Hydropower? What's hydropower, Rob? Good question. <laughs> it's basically a water turbine. And back in the day, it would have been a water wheel and that supplied the power for the mill. So let me show you just how overgrown this area is. We've got the weir here and water would have been redirected along this part here, away from the river towards a sluice skate over here, which I'll show you, I'll try not to trip. So there's a sluice skate just there, you can see it. And that uh, took the water away and down a channel up here, which we're gonna walk down that channel now. And this looks like it's the original sluice gate. So there are a number of sluice gates on the way down to the mill pond and they were all used to control the flow of water. And this one here looks like it controlled the water back into the, the river cone down here. So it went underneath. So like in times of flood, they would be able to uh, let the water back out again. So it didn't flood the mill pond. You can actually see on this one where you would connect a crank to control the, uh, the sluice gate and just wind it round. And that would, uh, like I say, control the the water that would uh, flow down this channel or goit. Goit is a Yorkshire term, Lancashire Yorkshire term for water channel. I'll have you speak in Yorkshire before that knows it. <laughs> now, if you can see past all the litter and neglect, you can see it's actually a beautiful area and there's a lot of uh, nature down there, a lot of birds. Uh, it's a bit of a, a nature reserve because it's a little bit cut off and, uh, and forgotten, but it could look so much better. So we've made our way down the water channel or the goit as we call it here and uh, we're heading towards the mill pond and uh, down here you can see an original it looks like an original um, sluice valve and you can really see the build-up of debris and silt all along the water channel right along towards the mill pond Now, you might be able to see on the wall over there a bit of an archway and the water, some of the water would have gone this way in underneath there and over that wall would have been the mill. It's now a supermarket. So I've just about reached the mill pond. It's just behind me. We'll take a walk along in a moment. There is hope for this overgrown forgotten area though. Um, a group of people have dedicated themselves to getting this back up and running and clearing it all, reconnecting it to the nearby River Cone. They're called the Friends of Slathwaite Mill Pond. The big job ahead is of course, to clear all the debris and all the silt out of the channel heading towards the mill pond, get all the rubbish out of the actual pond, repair the sluice gates, and eventually reconnect to the river cone. So I thought I would just raise a little bit of awareness about this area in Slathwaite, this uh, forgotten mill pond and the work ahead. If you're passionate about Slathwaite, 
or if you are interested in preserving green spaces, then I'll leave a link in the description below. You can get in touch with them, maybe make a donation. That's it for this one. I hope you have enjoyed this vlog. If you have, give me a like, consider subscribing. I upload vlogs every month. I don't know where I'll be next time, but I will be in the great outdoors and I want you to be with me. So until the next one, bye.